one of my coping mechanisms that I use today, I've, I've got quite a few Twitter followers and, and I re try and reply to everyone, particularly if they're polite. One guy um, came on to, actually, I'm not going to say what it is, otherwise they'll know what I've done. But basically, if somebody says something on there that I really don't like, I have uh, what I call a um, what I call a silent mute, where rather than just muting the person, I actually block the person, unblock them, then mute them, because that way they're no longer following me, and they're muted. So if they want to follow me again, that's fine. I'm just never going to know about it. But it, it's that thing of. Um, I don't want to waste my time having to talk to that person who brings negative energy to my life. So therefore they are going to lose access to me. Um, whereas the vast majority of my followers are lovely yeah. and respectful and will ask me questions and I will happily answer them. And they won't just ask questions about the game. They'll get excited about me being excited about pancake day or they'll be asking me questions. I, post, I posted some, some food. I love cooking. Cooking is the time that I stop thinking about work. Um, I, read your, I, read, I read your blog and I tell you what, it made me laugh because I could see you writing it. I, more, more support, I could see you doing it. But what I loved was the use of the word chuck yep. three times in a very small uh, blog. And I thought, that's Miles. Chuck this in, chuck that in, chuck this in. But because, because I was posting some pictures of, of the food and people were asking me for recipes, that's why I started the blog. And I, I do do it in the way that I speak. And, and it is, there's a difference between placing something in. So if you were going to do a fried egg, you have to place that carefully in the pan. When it comes to putting some chorizo in something, just okay. chuck it in. <laughs> chuck it in, bung it in, whatever. Um, so I have some new recipes going up on that this weekend. My potato dolphin wars will be going up there this weekend, I love it. which I love again it. is something that's in, it sounds incredibly posh, and you order it in a restaurant thinking you're being posh, piss easy to make. Um, and the other thing will be uh, my my bolognese sauce recipe, which will actually lead to me not being allowed in back into Italy um, at any point in the future. It's so it's so good. Um, no, it's it's more they're going to be mortally offended. <laughs> Um, remember i'm half italian be very very okay. careful andy you are <laughs> half talking italian. about sacrilegious stuff here you're <laughs> half italian but you are, are also half english and yeah. and you live um you live kind of northwestish so you're yeah. you're a bit west of the midlands is that right a bit sort of west yeah towards bristol okay so so you're not too far away from worcester no so the Worcester key, sauce goes in it. The key to a best yeah, the, yeah. to the best bolognese is Worcester sauce. Sauce is a good good thing to have. I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't draw any. I would not go on that hill. I'd say yeah, that goes in bolognese. But Italian, but full Italians. No, no they, have, they had a they massive. I couldn't pronounce uh, it. No, absolutely. There was what? a massive problem with the way that I used and do your paste the other day in another in another pasta sauce. So what about ketchup in your bolognese sauce, Mars? Um, no, I use I, I use passata rather than ketchup. Just sweet, just give it a little sweetness, just a little sweetness in there. Yeah, I, I don't I don't have ketchup on a lot of stuff. I, ba I basically German have, rubbish. I have ketchup when I have scampi because I'm not a big fan of tartar sauce. There we go. That's a very football thing, isn't it? Scampi. Scampi. Well, I, I love I love a bit of scampi. What would you?